What's happening, YouTube? Uh, Saturday in Norfolk, Virginia. And it's a cloudy Saturday. It's supposed to, we're supposed to get some rain and we actually suited up for it. But I think this early session might be a little bit of a false alarm. I suppose better safe than sorry. We're headed to Cycle Gear. Uh, again, we were there yesterday, and today we're going to, my brother who's in front of me, he's going to get a warranty replacement for his helmet. Um, all the trouble that we've been having trying to connect the centers, we found out that the one in his helmet is just simply defective. And the, the guy at Cycle Gear, kind of walked us through it and he said yeah this is a defective situation so he arranged for a replacement to be here today so that's what we're on our way to do so I got my brother in front of me I got Ron behind me and the other four are still at the house and we'll meet up with them a little bit later. There's a few things happening at a local Harley Davidson dealership that we're supposed to be going to. So we'll see how all of that plays out today. And then we'll be on the road to Pittsburgh tomorrow. get up Sunday morning we're gonna have breakfast and get on the road and hopefully be back in the Steel City before dark starting to get a couple drops on the windshield who knows what that'll turn into yesterday was a thunderstorm that we ended up riding through One thing I like about the roads down this way is they're a whole lot smoother than they are up north. Riding down here is real easy. It's easy on the bike, it's easy on the rider. Yeah, they're just better. They're not perfect, but they're a whole lot better than what they are up north. So it's my hope <laughs> that by the time we leave Cycle Gear today, we won't have any more connectivity problems from the Senate. That we also know my Senate works just fine. <laughs> we figured that much out. That wind feels good. definitely cooled, cooled me off a little bit because it was hot as long as we were standing around in our rain suits this Norfolk Virginia area if nothing else it has a its fair share of interesting drivers and we've had more near incidents with cars down here than I care to remember or to count What's up? What do you guys, guys want to eat breakfast at? 
Uh, great question. We're getting ready to pull into the cycle gear so Morris can get his helmet replaced. Right. I thought you guys had been there already. Okay. Yeah, I thought so too, but we, we got off to a little bit of a slow start. I'm having some issues with my bike. Um, it cut off on me earlier. It's working now. But, um, but yeah, we were having some it issues. Like it, it cut off on me at a red light. Yeah. Um, you need a new transmission. That ruined my transmission. <laughs> 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 is that that must be the most expensive thing on your uh right. <laughs> on your price list <laughs> um um all right well yeah we'll, i'll look at but, it when we get the truck why don't you guys when you're done with that cycle gear meet up at that breakfast place we went to yesterday the egg bistro yeah okay uh oh all right yeah that's yeah, well you got the name just you see it or whatever yeah i can't imagine there's you're only with so many egg bistros, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, well, I'll let them know. We'll do that. All right, we're on our way there now. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you all right up there? Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't buckle my uh, helmet up. And uh, I was taking off. I thought I was in first, but I was in second. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? And I just wasn't ready to. <laughs> That's all. All right. I'm good. Uh, there's somebody coming. He's flying up on y'all. Well, we okay. already established. We're good. All right. There we go. Now this uh, blue truck coming up on our left was flying up on us. Uh, what does your speedometer say? Uh, 74. I was at 74 rather. See, see that's about what I was doing yesterday when y'all said I was going too fast, but I feel like I'm riding real hard to keep up with y'all right now. <laughs> he did He did take off a little bit, though. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was signaling for everyone to catch up. Or tighten up one. Well, we got cut off by that blue truck right there. Because he wasn't trying to let anybody on. And how far, how far did he say this was? I don't remember. Oh, no, nah, dude, you can't do that. No, nah, dude. Ooh. I'm talking to the explorer next to me. Uh. All right. Yeah, if he could have cut us off, he damn sure would have. Yeah. Yeah, when we leave from this Harley dealership, I'm gonna want to get somewhere and sit down and get a little bit of rest. What's he doing? I don't know. Got a lot of uneven pavement up here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching it. Uh, riding across that uh, Chesapeake Bay Bridge to the tunnel. Uh -huh. Absolutely hate that. Oh, I can't stand that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't like that, man. No, uh, that yeah, but uh, coming across the bridge into that tunnel, that's a among some of the footage that got deleted by accident. So I'm gonna have to make sure I get it on the way out of town. Uh, geez, I almost caught air on that. <laughs> you up off your seat a little bit. Yep. <laughs> like the jackrabbit. I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I feel like I'm riding real hard to keep up with y'all. I'm not going 70 miles per hour. Maybe it's just these roads. In tight traffic like this, I can tell, or I can see how having a whip would be useful. Huh. Oh, yeah. But no, I ain't hitting nobody's car with that. They'll fool around and run you off the road. But at the same time, I think it's a good reminder if you're sitting in someone's uh, blind zone, spot, yeah. Or if they start to come over into you, <laughs> I can tell who's like, whip that shit out and like, bam! <laughs> Let somebody know that you're here. You yeah. Know? Oh, no, 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 no. I waited too late. Well, I was going to say lane's ending. I was going to take him on the right. <laughs> I didn't realize the lane ended. I was going to get him. <laughs> I know it's only a 1500, but he got some get up and go. Yeah, I wanted him. I wanted him on the right side like that. <laughs> Just for the thrill. Yeah, I'm like, well, I don't know why he did that business, but uh, yeah. I don't know, but I don't. I ain't trying to hear nothing else from nobody else about how fast I'm going. <laughs> I think you were going pretty fast, though. <laughs> I'm telling you, I never broke. The fastest I went was like 72. I'm telling you, I was watching. I got a digital speedometer. I know how fast I was going. But at the same time, like I said, when I was bringing up the rear on the way down here, the whole way, 83, 84, 87, I'm like, why the hell can I catch them? Why are we going so fast? <laughs> you took that turn kind of wide, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what I was expecting. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube, I thought I would jump in right here and just kind of drop some clips in from the sound competition that took place while we were here at this uh, motorcycle event for the men and women who love to ride motorcycles. We had a great time and we saw some really, really awesome stuff. And I got to be honest with you, I was slightly tempted, just slightly, to enter my bike in some of the lighter weight competitions for the sound uh, competition. So maybe next year, you might see me participate there. I obviously can't play the examples for you because of copyright issues. And so I'm um, just giving you what happened. Um, the person with the gold wing, which I believe it was a 2017, um, won the entire thing. And you can see his uh, championship ring that he earned there. But everybody, you know had great bikes great sounds great looking bikes great sounding bikes didn't matter if it was a harley didn't matter if it was a gold wing we were just out there having a good time and that's what it was all about so hope you all enjoyed this video uh this was the saturday from our trip to norfolk virginia for the uh, meet and greet the men and women who love to ride motorcycles and uh next video you'll see basically footage of the way home so i uh, hope you've enjoyed this series to this point i really have too um until next time i'm derek t you're watching steel city motor vlogs you all be safe out there